right, uh, let's make this quick and easy for everybody to understand what I'm doing here. Well, um, what's this? Who am I? I'm, I'm hello. I'm such gross and just a stranger in the internet who does 2D and 3D animation using open software such as Blender. Uh, and there's something online. Uh, it's an animated series that's online, uh, created by Leberhin or however did that his name is pronounced. It's an Indonesian. It's pretty cool. Uh, right now, uh, he's doing like an animated series in the series of a comic book he wrote uh, some time ago. And for some reason, he has like the models he used for free, and I'm gonna show you how to to make your own animations with them. First of all, uh, let's get the textures so you can see how they look. Well, actually they didn't look that good. But I was trying out because the first time I got the models I was really confused in, on how it worked and everything. So let's just select one of the things because we have like different variants of the same character. This is the protagonist, um, Gix, I think. I don't know how it's pronounced. Well, let's get this thing and select it all. Ah, there we go. Let's go to thing. And here we can see uh, we have first of all the bones. We go to pose mode. We can move it around. It's pretty simple. This thing is like the classic thing about it. You can move them. And there we go. This thing, the all things, and which are like controls for thing. Like for example, this one is for the knees. You have to move it. Uh, I don't know what. Ah, yeah, this is for knees position. It only goes through the x axis. This one is the same. Then we got um, one of the legs. So to move the feet. It's like kinetic controllers, kinetic bones. It's pretty cool. You can do some cool stuff with it. We got tail thing. Oh, no, but it's like stuff on the tail. I, I can remember. Uh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't remember right now which is this. Um, then we go, of course, the central bone. It controls the entire body. But it's also tag or restricted to position. So it has kinetic movements. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and then we move over to here, into the face rig, because Somehow it moves. So what well, what these things do? Does is this one is for the eyes, the eye pupil, so you can know the, the position exactly where it is. There we go. This one are for the mouth. Oh no, this one is for the eye uh, movement, different eye expressions. But it's only for one of the eye. There we go. Uh, I believe this one, no, this one, this one is for, uh, what's it? Ah, yeah, this one is uh, for the eye dilatation. So if we wanted like to have the the pupils more open widely, then you can go. I think it was like cat vision or so. Uh, there we go, like pretty sharp, sharp look, pretty cool. Now we go. Of course, the thing this is the eye rig and this is the mouth rig. So you can change different things to make it talk. Um, is tied to C position. Yep, to the certain position. And this one is also for the eye. It goes also up and down. This one it goes left to right. And this one is for the other eye, and then. We got the other one that's for the eyes again, but only on the x axis. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like the model. Um, so, yeah, n now you now you can understand and make him move and do stupid things. Like me, I'm, I'm, I'm here doing stupid things, but he think actually, I'm gonna have some fun with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>